Looking for the perfect laptop to survive college in 2025? You want something reliable, fast and affordable but with so many options, it feels like searching a needle in a haystack. I've tested dozens of laptops that fits every student's need and workloads, from note-taking and coding to gaming and content creation. Which laptop offers the best battery life, performance and value for money? And what's the one feature most students ignore that ends up costing them a ton of time? Stick around because by the end of this video, you will have a clear roadmap to picking the best laptop for your college life. No confusion, no regrets. So let's get started. First, we have got the everyday casual users. These are perfect if you want something reliable for browsing, taking notes and streaming video. Next up are the coders. If you are writing codes, reading projects or getting serious about tech, this group is for you. And finally, the performance user. This is for anyone into video editing, 3D modeling, game development and even machine learning or deep learning. Now, before we jump into the list, there's one thing most students overlook that can actually cause them big time, the thermals. I've seen a lot of students go for thin laptops with dedicated GPUs, which sounds great on paper, but that combo often leads to heating problems. Keeping your laptop cool is the key to getting steady performance and making your machine last longer. Alright, like I mentioned earlier, we are starting with the laptops for everyday casual college use. The first laptop in this list is the Asus VivoBook Go 14. It comes with an AMD Ryzen 3 7320U CPU, integrated graphics, 512GB of SSD and 8GB of RAM and it's priced around 31000 This laptop is great if you are just starting out or need something light and easy on the wallet for stuff like office, zoom and browsing. It fires up fast and the battery holds up pretty well. Just a heads up though, 8GB RAM can get cramped if you have got ton of apps or tabs open at once. Next up is the Lenovo V15. With AMD Ryzen 5 7520U, integrated graphics, 512GB of SSD and 16GB of RAM. It cost about 36000 This laptop is seriously great value for the price. With 16GB of RAM, multitasking feels smooth and it handles everyday stuff like browsing, Netflix or office like a champ. Just don't expect to push it for heavy editing or gaming. It's not really made for that. Moving up, we have the Asus VivoBook 16. The Snapdragon X Elite CPU, 512GB of SSD and 16GB of DDR5 RAM and it's priced around 60,000. What's really cool about this one is it's fanless and totally silent. Plus the battery can last crazy 10 hours. And it also got some cool AI features. Just remember, since it's ARM based, some older apps or games might not run perfectly. Then there is the Apple MacBook Air M1 with the M1 chip, 256GB of SSD and 8GB unified memory. It's priced close to 59,000 but feels like premium experience. Even today, the M1 chip still packs smooth performance and awesome battery life and the macOS just runs super smoothly. Perfect for coding, office work and light content creation. Just keep in mind, the 8GB RAM can get bit tight if you are juggling heavy multitasking. Finally, the Acer LG packs an Intel Core i5 13H series CPU, RTX 30 GPU, 16 GB of RAM and 512 GB of SSD. It cost around 62,000. This one might look like your average productivity laptop. Thanks to its dedicated GPU, you can play games, do Blender projects and even run some ML models on it. Battery life isn't great and it can get a bit warm and is on the heavier side. Now let's move to the second category, laptop for coders and tech students. The first laptop in this category is the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3. It comes with the Intel Core i5 13420H CPU, integrated graphics and 512GB of SSD and 16GB of RAM upgradable. It's priced around 61000 this laptop is solid, balanced to pick for tech students who want something reliable without breaking the bank. The crisp WXGA display gives you enough clarity for coding, browsing and multitasking. It's not flashy or anything, but for everyday programming and general tech use, it's dependable. Next up is the IdeaPad Slim 5. It comes with the Intel Core Ultra 5, 512 GB of SSD and 16 GB of RAM. It's priced around 70,000. What really makes this one stands out is its bigger 16-inch WXGI IPS display. That extra screen space is perfect for coding, debugging or juggling multiple windows. With 16 GB of RAM, everything runs nice and smooth. Even when you are pushing heavy apps or virtual machines, it's thin and light too. So carrying it around campus won't be a pain. 
Then you have the Apple MacBook Air 2022. This one has Apple's efficient M2 CPU and GPU, a fast SSD and enough RAM to handle multiple demanding apps and it's priced around 79000 This one is great if your workflow includes a mix of coding, video editing or creative projects like design and presentation. The performance is smooth thanks to the Apple's optimization and the battery life easily gets you through a full day. Plus, the battery quality is top tier and even now, it still holds up really well for students who want something reliable and premium without going over the pole. Moving up, we have the Acer Swift Go 14, features an Intel Core Ultra 7 CPU, integrated graphics and a large 1TB of SSD and 16GB of RAM. It's priced around 91000 What really catches your eyes here is the gorgeous 14-inch OLED display. It's sharp, vibrant and honestly makes everything from coding to content creation feels more premium. And the best part, it's super light. At just 1.3 kilos, you can carry it anywhere around campus all day without feeling like you are carrying a burden. And finally, the MacBook Air 2025 with the M4 chip. It combines Apple's latest CPU and GPU into a super efficient package with a 13 inch display and it's priced around 96,000. This is one for those who want a smooth, reliable performance with solid battery life. Especially if you're deep into coding, content creation, or heavy multitasking, it's lightweight, run almost silently, and Mac OS just makes the whole developer experience super clean and seamless. It's not just about the spec on paper, it's about how well everything works together. Now let's move to the final category, the performance users. Starting from the most budget friendly, the HP Victus with the Ryzen 5 5600H, a 4GB of RX 6500M GPU and cost about 49000 This one is a great entry point if you are just getting into video editing, Blender or AutoCAD and you are on a budget. The GPU can handle light rendering and the CPU holds up well with the engineering softwares or beginner level game development. It's definitely not built for heavy machine learning or deep learning workloads but if you are starting out with creative or CAD projects, it gets the job done without breaking the bank. Next up is the Asus Stuff A15 with the Ryzen 7 and the RTX 2050 GPU. It is priced around 57000 This one is known for its tough build and overall reliability. It's not the fastest machine out there, but if you are a student looking for something durable with decent performance and you don't want to spend a ton, this is a solid dependable choice. And if you get lucky, you can get the RTX 3050 variant at the same price during a sale. Moving a bit higher, the Lenovo Lock with the Ryzen 5 7235HS and RTX 3050 GPU with 6GB VRAM comes in around 67,500. This one hits a nice sweet spot between price to performance. It handles 3D work thanks to the 6GB of VRAM, moderate video editing and game development testing without breaking a sweat. So if you are looking for the solid performance across creative and tech workloads without jumping into the premium price range, this is a strong pick. Then there is the HP Victus with the Intel i5 13420H and the RTX 4050 GPU and is priced around 76000 This laptop is perfect if you are into real-time rendering in Blender, smooth video editing or even some light to moderate machine learning model training. It's a powerful mid-range option that's great for serious content creation or developer who needs reliable performance for stuff like the game development, CAD or heavy creative workflows. Finally, the Lenovo Lock with the Ryzen 7 7435HS and the RTX 4060 GPU cost about 92000 If you are diving into heavy 3D modeling, AAA game development and a serious deep learning projects, this this one is an absolute powerhouse. The CPU and the GPU combo can handle complex rendering and the GPU accelerated ML task without breaking a sweat. So if you are dealing with demanding workloads, it's totally worth it. Alright, those were my top picks for college students in 2025. Whether you are into coding, designing, AI ML or just want a laptop that can survive your everyday campus life. All the links with the latest prices and deals are in the description, including some student discounts and exchange offers where available. If you are confused between two models or want a personal advice, then comment down below. I always reply. And hey, if you found this video helpful, click on the like button and share it with your college group. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want more laptop recommendations like this. So that's it. Stay awesome. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.